Scientists are using the word mosquito day to raise awareness over the illnesses they can bring. Natalie Brand has more on the warnings and how you can stay protected. This park is buzzing with a common pest. They've been definitely more aggressive than they have been in the past. Um, as you can see, he's scratching. Mosquitoes preying on children, pets, and adults. Uh, it's hard to even, like, come out to the park and play. Climate researchers say the warming weather is prolonging the number of mosquito days across the U.S. Every day when we go to that park, I will come home with at least four or five bites. The bite's not just uncomfortable, but can pose health risks. The CDC issued an alert this summer about dengue virus with some local cases in Florida. And human cases of West Nile virus, the leading cause of mosquito-borne illness, have been reported in 30 states this year so far. Mosquitoes are, are bad this summer. I, I can just tell you my personal experience, they're everywhere. Dr. Glenn Wartman with MedStar Washington Hospital Center says while the risk of getting sick is still lower in the United States, the best prevention is to avoid getting bitten. What should parents be doing to keep their kids safe? You want to look around, see if there's standing water around your own house. The mosquitoes don't need much. It could be a toy in your yard, an old tire, anything with standing water in it, the mosquitoes can lay eggs in. The CDC also suggests covering your arms and legs if you're going to be outside at dusk and choosing an insect repellent with EPA registered ingredients such as DEET or picaridin and wash it off when you return inside. <laughs> These moms are ready for mosquito season to bug off. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.